In Luke chapter 23, Jesus was being led to the cross, but he wasn't alone. Verse 32 tells us two others, both criminals, were led out to be executed with him. When they came to a place called the skull, they nailed him to the cross, and the criminals were also crucified, one on his right and one on his left. Verse 39 continues, One of the criminals hanged beside him, scoffed, So you're the Messiah, are you? Prove it by saving yourself and us too while you're at it. But the other criminal protested, Don't you fear God even when you've been sentenced to die? We deserve to die for our crimes, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. Two criminals are crucified with Jesus, and they each have a choice to make about him. One blasphemed Jesus. If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. See, he chose to join the soldiers and those who watched, who ridiculed and scorned the Lord, calling him a criminal. But the second criminal was different. He respected God and recognized his own sin. He knew who Jesus was and called out to him as Lord. He believed Jesus' promise of everlasting life as he cried out, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And my hope for you and I today as we read Luke's account of the crucifixion is that we'll respect the Lord and recognize our own sin. We'll know Jesus and call out to him as Lord. We'll believe Jesus' promise of everlasting life and say, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And we'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt that one day we'll be with Jesus forever in paradise. Mm -hmm.